Hi, Scott from Digital Fish with a how-to on choosing a rod for live or dead baits off the shore for large species like kingfish, sharks and pelagics. Hi, today we're going to talk about choosing a rod for land-based game fishing or LBG. LBG started back in the 80s, started to gain quite a bit of momentum, targeting species like kingfish, predominantly in New Zealand, sharks, but also marlin and tuna, particularly in overseas destinations. Possible in New Zealand? Uh, unlikely, unfortunately. So what do you look for when you're choosing a rod for LBG? Well, it depends on a few things. It depends on the species you're after. It depends on how strong the line is that you'll be using and also the locations you're planning to fish as well. If you're fishing off the west coast, longer rods are generally better because you need a bit of extra clearance. Uh, if you're fishing off the east coast and other areas like that, uh, where the surge is not quite so dangerous, then slightly shorter rods are also okay. Back in the 80s, LBG rods were first designed to be quite long with the theory being you'd have to try and clear the rocks, particularly if you had a species like a kingfish on the end of your line because it would dive around the rocks under your feet and having a longer rod meant you'd actually clear the rocks uh, and uh, save the fish essentially. Now there are a few disadvantages with having a longer rod, biggest one being that when you're fishing sort of heavy 50-80 pound line uh, there's a lot more pressure and leverage on the angler. If you're catching kingfish and it's a short brutal fight then you can kind of handle it. Uh, if it's going to be a longer fight like with a shark potentially then um, a shorter rod is going to be a lot more comfortable if you're fishing heavy pressure or if you're fishing over longer periods of time. So where to start? Well first of all I'd recommend fishing 50 pound or 24 kilo mono off the rocks for kingfish. If you, if you start fishing 15 kilo you will land some kingfish but you'll lose a lot more first and generally if you've gut hooked a kingfish they tend to die. So you're better off using heavy nylon like 50 pound is a really good place to start, very popular off the rocks and then uh, once you've caught a few kingfish uh, maybe go lighter or if you want to target bigger fish like sharks or if you know where the really big kingfish live maybe even 37 kilo uh, 80 pound mono. If you're fishing um, if you're fishing 50 pound mono I'd recommend using like a seven seven and a half foot rod it's a good general uh, length to be using. If you're fishing heavier line like 37 kilo then I recommend going shorter maybe seven to six and a half foot and if it's going to be on a really uh, if it's going to be on a fish that fights for a very long time then uh, even shorter. My, my marlin land based rod is only five foot six. The reason being I, I don't anticipate having problems with a marlin once I've played to the rocks I anticipate it to be fairly tired and, uh, to, and, and not a problem for diving under the rocks at my feet and that's where a longer rod has the advantage because you can clear rocks at your feet uh, but you can also play a fish out when it's further out and let it play out there when you bring it in it's uh, ready to pull in and not too much trouble at your feet. So there are a few different techniques you can use to bring fish in and not have a problem with them snapping the line at your feet. When you choose a rod there's a few different things to think about. Uh, I've mentioned length, mentioned uh, line strength but then also a couple of things with the guides generally uh, the Fuji carbide guides, uh, ceramic inserts they're very popular don't get a chrome, uh, don't, don't get a rod with chrome guides. Chrome guides uh, tend to rush fairly quickly and braid definitely cuts them if you're planning to use braid off the rocks. Also another really cool feature is a detachable butt so you can actually separate the butt from the rest of the rod, uh, you can keep your reel attached to the butt, really good for just putting that section into your pack, easy to set up, easy to take down and uh, means also that you're not carrying an extra long rod through the bush which is another fact to consider uh, whether you have a one piece or a two piece uh, rod. Definitely when you're trying to climb down cliffs having long rods uh, a bit of a pain in the backside, hiking through the bush, bush bashing, long gear uh, gets caught quite a bit. If you don't mind it it's fine but just a consideration when you think about choosing a fishing rod. So detachable butts are really good. Uh, guides, roller guides, a little bit of overkill. Um, if you're targeting big fish like maybe a shark or a marlin uh, roller guides can be good. You have to maintain them though and make sure that they don't seize. Uh, so extra maintenance if you don't mind that go ahead and use them. Uh, but the Fuji carbide guides, ceramic inserts, they're generally really good. So there's a few things to consider when you're uh, choosing a rod for LBG or land based game fishing, kingfish, sharks, marlin, tuna, uh, if you're really really lucky. Um, fiberglass or graphite, well a mix of both is quite good, the rocks are quite punishing on uh, your gear so possibly it's better to have a mix of fiberglass and graphite. Graphite's lighter, good for transporting but uh, more likely to shatter if you step on them uh, on the rocks. So, um, a few considerations there as well. Graphite obviously also more expensive. So those are some of your options. So think about your species, think about location you're going to fish and think about the line you're going to fish. A couple of different models on the market. The uh, Shimano LBG uh, Backbone Elite two piece, nice rod, 15-24 kilo, that'll take kingfish. Uh, some of the older models like the Beastmaster 
Um, they're also really solid uh, rods as well. Uh, CD rods uh, make, make an old uh, plum fiber, uh, 15, 24 kilo, eight foot rod, really nice blank. Uh, you probably have to get that one second hand. Kill will make uh, the jelly tip and Rockies. There's a few 15 kilo, 15, 24 kilo models out there. They're really bulletproof, solid, taking lots of fish over the years. Uh, quite a few different options. The uh, Daiwa 80J or ADS, 30 to 60 pound, just under eight foot. That's a nice rod, a uh, bit of a popular one. Uh, I know Kuma also have a seven foot nine, 15, 24 kilo rod. I've, I've caught kingfish on that as well. It's a good rod to try as well. Offshore, do an LB80 with a detachable butt. That's a really nice rod. Uh, 1524 or 2437. There's a few models that have a very stiff tip, so just maybe have a look at the tip and see if that's going to be okay for what you want. Lots of different options where well, you can go custom. Cure make good blanks. Uh, CD rods have good blanks. CTS have good blanks as well. Calstar, uh, really nice blanks as well. So lots of different options out there for you to try. Have a think about it. Um, those are your, there's, there's my tips for choosing a, a rod for LBG off the rocks.